So, how's it going, folks? Today we're gonna talk about two of the most popular infrastructure as code solutions: Terraform versus CloudFormation. Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code solution that allows infrastructure engineers to have the ability to codify the stack. And CloudFormation is the AWS exclusive version of that. Being the largest cloud provider, AWS CloudFormation aims to build a fully managed solution for the automation of the infrastructure as code deployment. So which one of them should you use for your stack? Here are the things that may be important to consider. Number one, is your solution built on AWS or do you want it to be cloud agnostic? Meaning that you can have multiple cloud provider providing different services and you're supposed to integrate all of those cloud services together. That way you can fully leverage every single platform's own advantage or the, the advanced features. An example of that could be Google has more matured Kubernetes uh, as a service solution, the Google Kubernetes engine, whereas AWS has more matured serverless solution, such as AWS Lambda. Being able to combine those two different type of services would allow you to develop an application that can both use Kubernetes service as all, uh, from Google as well as the AWS Lambda. If you are building a solution in that case, Terraform may be a better choice. Whereas if you're using only AWS to build your system, it may be a better idea to just use CloudFormation because you're keeping a system in a closed loop with a well-managed cloud service. And on top of that, you also have service level agreement as well as AWS support. And believe me, AWS support is great because there are tons of excellent engineers from AWS who will support you when there are issues or difficult technical problems that you encounter with uh, CloudFormation. And the same thing cannot be said for the open source community. Even though it's great and there are tons of talented people out there, but it's hard to have highly available on-demand support. The second thing is the language verbosity. AWS allows you to use YAML and JSON when you program CloudFormation template. Whereas if you're working with Terraform, the most conventional language to use is called HCL, HashiCorp Configuration Language. You can use JSON, but it's not recommended. And chances are, there's very little sources where you can find examples with JSON programmed um, uh, for Terraform. So if you like your YAML, go with CloudFormation. And next on the list is state management. Terraform is more like DIY. You have to manage your, yourself so let's say if you were to start a stack and it would generate some states in Terraform, right? Well, every time you update the state, you need to maintain them in a durable storage solution. For AWS, you can store it on like a, a S3 bucket. Uh, for Google Cloud, you have to store it on the Google Cloud bucket. But the bottom line is you have to maintain the states yourself. And if those states get corrupted, it's going to be a lot of trouble for you and your infrastructure. Whereas CloudFormation is being completely managed by AWS. AWS will do its magic. Even though there are cases occasionally where dependencies or some of the more complex states are hard to maintain if you do manipulation manually, which is a bad practice. You, you should do everything via CloudFormation. 
it will be hard for the confirmation to detect those you know manner changes down manually but overall AWS CrowdFormation does a great job to manage the states of your infrastructure for you. So if you are concerned about your infrastructure state management, go with AWS CrowdFormation. And what about parameters? For AWS CrowdFormation, you can only have 60 parameters. It's not like it's a showstopper, you can't you know, program your stack and parameterize more than 60 parameters. No, you just have to break it down to multiple stacks, multiple templates. This is AWS recommended best practice. Even though it's inconvenient for some, it does force you to group or design your architecture in such a way that it's easier to maintain and easier to organize. It's arguably not flexible in that sense. Whereas Terraform is really flexible in the sense that it allows any number of parameters passed in through a data source. So when it comes down to having the flexibility on the number of parameters you want to use, Terraform is definitely more flexible. And last but not least, ask yourself, are you a startup or, you're, or are you a big business inter enterprise? Why does that matter when it comes down to choosing between Terraform or CloudFormation? Well, if you're a startup, your infrastructure will likely to change. What works today might not work for your business for the next two, three months or a year down the road because your business model change. You need to frequently adapt and evolve your technical stack. So choosing CloudFormation will give you less option because you're married to essentially AWS exclusively. Whereas Terraform allows you to choose in between different cloud provider, whether it's Azure, IBM, AWS, or Alibaba. So if you're a startup, consider your option more lean towards Terraform. And also because as a big business enterprise, chances are you're going to have the premium support from AWS where you don't mind, you know, paying a few extra thousand dollars a month just to have that ease of mind and service level agreement and all that good stuff. But if you're a startup, you can't really afford to have that kind of level of support. You may as well just rely on the open source community. I mean, they are really good. So these are the factors that I thought of when I, you know, make the decisions between choosing CloudFormation and Terraform. What do you guys think? Do you agree with some of my points? Do you have different opinions? Are you using Terraform or do you prefer CloudFormation? Leave your comment below. I'll see you guys next time.